Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Duck Vung. Welcome on into this broadcast. This is a new show I like to do called Wisdom Wednesdays. Wisdom Wednesdays. So every Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, I'm going to be reading from a chapter from this book. My book called Weight Loss Surgery Success, Dr. V's A to Z Tips. People call it A to Z Tips for short. Each little letter of the alphabet stands for something, so we're just going to read through that. And then I'm going to add to it so it augments the reading. I've included in the link a downloadable PDF, so you just cl click on it, it's free, download it, read along with me, okay? So here we go. This is also on Amazon if you want a paperback copy, but uh, you know it's easy just to download it, print it out if you want. I'm gonna skip the introduction. Uh, but let me tell you a little bit something about this book before I start reading it. So this book, uh, depending on what you believe, came through me in two weeks. By that, I mean I was so clear conscious, I was so tapped into the source. Um, I was meditating twice a day. I was journaling consistently. I had a revelation about writing this book and I picked the letters and then it basically wrote itself in two weeks. And since then I've looked at it and I've thought about it and I thought about expanding on it and then I realized, you know, something touched me to write this book in two weeks. So I better not mess with it. That's some advice I've been given. So I've decided instead is to just kind of read and discuss it. Sound good? So let's read the first letter. So if you have your book, you can open it. Letter is attitude. A is for attitude. The quote is by Winston Churchill. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. So I'll hold this in front of the camera and you can snap that, take a picture of that so you can have that quote right there, screenshot that. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. A stands for attitude. I'm reading here. A stands for attitude. Your attitude will determine how you see the world, whether you see the glass as half empty or half full. Ain't that the truth? We have a lot of people in our lives that see the world as half empty, you know? And we don't realize we live in a modern society with modern conveniences and I wouldn't trade what we have today for what happened in you know 1500s, the Renaissance, turn of the century. People don't realize that the average lifespan during Game of Thrones was like people in the 30s. People died by the time they got to 30. That's why women would have kids when they're 11 and 12 years old, because lifespan wasn't that long back then, you know. So your attitude is going to determine whether you see your glass as half empty or half full. Focus on having only a positive attitude towards your weight loss surgery. This is so important because a lot of times, especially if you belong in a lot of secret groups, you'll see that people post things that are not very positive. And some, sometimes they're just downright mean. Is that the truth? Let me know if you agree with that. That sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm kind of surprised by this, but a lot of times, a lot of the internet bullies, we talk about bullies, uh, the obese people are bullies. People who have had weight loss surgery are bullies towards each other. Is that sad? But is that true? You know it's true. And we talk about fat shaming all the time, but but I find that unfortunately some of sometimes it's a, it's the weight loss surgery patients themselves that do most of the fat shaming, and and I and I think that's sad, right? And I think it comes from the fact that they don't have a positive attitude towards their weight loss surgery. They feel defensive. They feel maybe they were unprepared. They feel like they're not getting the results they want or they're not getting the results as fast as they want. So, so that leads to certain behaviors that you know, are not necessarily very positive. Realize that everything in your life needed to happen in order for you to have the life you have today. Even the events that might have contributed to your obesity. Woo! Is that not the truth right there? Realize that everything in your life needed to happen in order for you to have the life you have today. Even the events that might have contributed to your abuse, obesity. So the poverty issues, the bankruptcy, the abuse, the verbal abuse, it all had to happen in order for you to be you. Now, you might not be where you want to be in life, you might not be as healthy as you want to be, but given the options, I'm pretty sure you're happy with who you are. You wouldn't trade your life, definitely not for like a cricket or an earthworm, <laughs> the life of a, of a dog. Um, you, you, you value your precious life as a human. Now that, that doesn't mean everything's perfect, doesn't mean things couldn't get better, but 
we want to start with understanding that you are who you are because all the everything that's ever happened to you in your life and you need to value that you know um, and then you'll need to learn from your mistakes which we'll talk about later in this book too rather than viewing your life as jinxed or cursed consider past events as lessons that had to be learned at the university of life or the school of hard knocks like you had to go through this and remember one more dr vism you have survived 100 percent of all of your bad days <laughs> is that true totally true every stinking bad day you've had you've survived how is that because you're awesome so Keep in reading here. Your attitude will also affect your aspirations. Another A word. If your attitude is poor, then your aspirations will likely be small. When the truth is, there are no limits to your aspirations. Basically, you can be anything you want to be. Most people have aspirations, but their aspirations are usually so small and uninspiring. Stop set, settling for realistic goals, all right? This is really important in the weight loss surgery community. I see too many weight loss patients who are settling with this realistic goal of 180 pounds. Let me tell you, if you're five foot two, 180 pounds, you are still obese. You still qualify for weight loss surgery. Stop settling for these realistic goals. And I don't care if you've already lost 150 pounds. You're still obese. Don't stop. You know, don't say things like, well, I just want to be realistic. I don't want to disappoint myself. That's not true. Don't do it because it's not, it's not real. It, I will tell you, it's not realistic for someone who's five foot two, have weight loss surgery and stay 180 pounds. And the reason why it's not realistic, it's not because you had weight loss surgery, it's because it's not who you are. It's not who you're meant to be. At five foot four, five foot five, you are not meant to be 180 pounds. It's not the real you. It's not the real you. So therefore, it's not realistic to stay 180 or 190. You need to keep pushing your goals, okay? And we'll talk about that later. All right, stop setting realistic goals. Instead, why not see how high you can fly? Why not see how high you can fly? Like the renowned motivational speaker Les Brown said, shoot for the stars. So if you fail, you might hit the moon. I mean, that's not so bad. Shoot for the stars and you might hit the moon, right? Set your goal. If you're five foot two, you need to be 120 pounds at the most now you say well dr vong that's not realistic i will never get there i don't need you to believe you can get there i believe you can get there you don't have to believe you can get there you just have to listen to me do what i tell you and you'll get there if you set your goals at 120 you'll probably settle down around 130 135. if you want your goal to be 120 then you got to set your goal at 110 112 see that's what you got to do now if you set your goal at 180 you're gonna stop at around 190. Now, if you're watching right now, and if that's happened to you, put that, put amen, put that's happened to me. I'm stuck at 180. I'm stuck 20 pounds before my goal. See, it's universal. I promise you, I've done too many of these surgeries. Stop staring into the bottom of that half empty glass and start drinking from the half full glass of life. Start thinking that your glass that contains your life is half full you got more to do more that you want to become you want to be skinnier you want to be sexier you want to be more adventurous you want to be braver you want to be more courageous you want to mean more the only thing that we are looking for as humans on this planet guess what it's relevance it's not riches, it's not fame, it's relevance. We want to be famous because we want to feel that we matter, that we make a difference. And I'm going to tell you, it, yes, it's possible to be obese and be relevant, but you're not going to be relevant for very long because you're going to die sooner than you should, and you won't have the energy or the stamina to do all the things long enough that's going to, keep, that's going to be required for you to live that relevant life, right? 
Everybody watching me has a big ass dream or goal. You watching me want to help your church more. You want to donate more. You want to help homeless veterans more. You want to take care of your kids more. You want to make sure your kids go to college more, you know, better. You want to have a more passionate relationship. You cannot do that with an obese mindset. You cannot do that as long as you keep settling for realistic goals like 180 pounds. Oh, well, I've already lost 150. That's good enough. I'm just happy. No, you cannot think that way. That's how you start backsliding. Someone write that down in the comment section for me. The second you start settling is when you start backsliding. It's when you start regaining. Oh, I'm good, Dr. Vong. No, you're not. You're going to start regaining. You have to trust the skinny Asian. Keep pushing your goals lower and lower. You hit one goal, see how what it's like 175. You hit 175, let's see what it looks like at 170. You hit 170, let's see what it looks like at 169. 169 looks good. Let's see what it looks like at 168. Just keep pushing your goals lower and lower. Don't ever say, oh lordy, if I could only make it through the end of this month, if only my check comes in time, if only if I can just get through the holidays, I'll be good. You won't be good. First of all, like you're a beautiful creature of God. Why do you just want to get by? Why did your creator make you just good enough to get by? She didn't. You see how I did that to you? He didn't. They didn't. It wasn't necessary. You're not meant to just get by. You're meant to live a fabulous life. So if you're on this weight loss journey with me, first thing I want you to do, it's New Year's, right? I want you to sit down and take a clear evaluation of your journey so far. Be very realistic about it. Simply start with where you started. How much did you weigh? Now, I don't put as big of an emphasis on pounds. If you're watching me, if you're new to me, you think I'm all talking about weight, but trust me, I have a famous saying, skinny is a side effect of your big ass dreams, right? So we're gonna give you some big ass dreams, that way skinny becomes a side effect. But it's easy to measure your weight. So what you wanna do is start, hey, here's my highest weight. Let's say you're 260, let's say you're five foot five, 260 pounds, that's my highest weight. Here's my surgery weight. I weighed 245 the morning of surgery, which I think would be an average program. My program would get patients to about 230, 225, 230 if they started at 260, right? Here's my lowest weight. Here's my current weight. I've regained, I haven't regained, I keep losing. Here's my plateau. Just look at it very honestly. Now, once you've done that, you can start saying, hey, here's my health. I'm I'm no longer diabetic. I'm off my blood pressure medicines. I ran a 5K. I can play with my kids. I, I need to go back and have my sleep apnea machine turned off or turned down. I need to wean down my insulin. I have more stamina. I have more confidence. I got a promotion. You've got to measure these things, y'all. If you don't record it, you're going to get lost in the abyss of your head. Woo! Someone write that down. If you don't write it down, you're going to get lost in the abyss of your head. It's gonna play a lot of mind games on you. And our, our normal state is to stare at our glass and say that it's half empty instead of half full. It want, you need it to always think about your journey. Your weight loss journey is half full. There's more you can do, more you can become, more you can achieve, more you can lose, more strength you can gain. At some point, you'll stop losing weight because you're five foot two, 110 pounds. I don't, you don't need to lose any more weight, but you might need to gain strength. You might need to work on your confidence. You might need to work on public speaking. You might need to work on being a disciplinarian towards your kids. You might need to be more passionate in the bedroom. All sorts of stuff. You might need to be a better entrepreneur. Those, you know, those are different things, right? And we can help you with that, right? Okay, that's all I want to say about A for attitude. I hope you liked it. I'll take some questions here. A for attitude every Wednesday night. Wisdom Wednesdays! Did I give you some wisdom? <laughs> give me some cheers if you thought I gave you some wisdom. Dr. Vong here. If you like this video, I hope you will come learn from me live in person at my first ever Dr. V weekend workshop. I'm calling it Unleash the Sleeve Within. All right. So it's in Albuquerque, March 23rd through the 25th. 
There's a link to it below the video. I hope to see you there. Cool? Bye. Much deeper, right? So you can read the book, but maybe you didn't think about it the way I told you. So rewatch these videos, share the video again. I'll edit it down for you. Let's take some questions. Download your own free copy here, okay? Cool beans? All right, I'm way out. So I'm on my laptop. I have eight minutes. I wanna keep this broadcast to an hour or 30 minutes. Okay. Misty, thank you, Dr. V. Thank you, Misty. Dolly, thank you for the wisdom. Thank you for watching Dolly. Dolly's one of my patients. She looks amazing. Y'all click her, her picture and follow her, right? Summer Dixon, I can't read. It's going by too fast. What is the best protein shake? You need to watch more of my videos. If you guys are asking me about what to drink or eat for the morning, you don't watch enough of my videos. And maybe this is your first time watching me. I don't mean to be an asshole, but there's a lot of videos out there, okay? So if you're new to Dr. Vong, you need to have a green smoothie for breakfast, a green smoothie, not a protein shake. You can add protein supplements to it if you want to. You don't need to. It's a green smoothie. I have several videos on how to make a green smoothie. I have groups on, on uh, diet plan, doc, the Dr. V diet, and I have a, a weight exchange group too. So people, you can search those. People will find those for you. All right. Uh, Donna Daly had my green smoothie. Awesome. Amos, Amy Corn, how do you know when you make a big ass goal because it scares you? Nice question, Amy. Um, Christy Tracy, 50% green diet. That's totally right. I have a YouTube channel too. So if you have a hard time finding my videos on Facebook, you can go to the YouTube channel. It's got a lot of those stuff. Hey, BJ, where you been, brother? BJ is also one of my uh, patients. So if you um, don't believe it's possible for you, follow BJ, man. He's done great. I think he's over 230 pounds down in a year. Natalie Ramirez, thank you for all your wisdom. What do you think of the keto after surgery? Uh, first thing, Nat Natalia or Natalie. Ramirez, you need to be very specific with your words. What do you think of keto after surgery? See, don't use abbreviations that don't, don't mean anything. If you're asking me what do I think about the ketogenic diet, I'm all for the ketogenic diet, but you have to understand the ketogenic diet does not require you to eat a ton of meat and protein like some people think. If you're asking me what do I think of ketosis, that's a whole different conversation. So that's why I'm on to you, that's all. Trying to love you, just loving you, not not hating. Uh, Nikki, Nikki King, get his book, Fifty Green Smoothie Recipes. Thank you. Sean, actually, there's there's a free um, free download of that too, Nikki. Shana Gallegos, love where I am and my journey because I am freeing my body from the chains of my obesity. Good girl, Shana. Uh, so Shana, come come to group when you can, babe. Kathy Crowell, I'm new to this and appreciate your input. Thanks. Thanks, Kathy, for watching. Christy Kelly, hi, Dr. V. I haven't met you, but I'm a new patient of yours. Christy, you need to get added to our secret group. We have a secret group. Only ask me if you're one of my patients, okay? Uh, I'm starting to limit that secret group. Um, my Shelly Lopez, my surgeon said no lettuce. Why? I, he's probably, again, you have to be very specific. He probably meant iceberg lettuce which is uh, very low in nutrition. You want a wide variety of leafy greens. The Dr. V diet is um, a green smoothie for breakfast, a salad a day, a sensible dinner, focusing on um, lean proteins and 10 glasses of water a day. And number five is no snacking. The Dr. V diet book is coming out very soon. I'm looking over, uh, reading it over one more time. I wanna do a whole launch on it. So I hope you guys get into it. Uh, Someone post up the link. Oh, here it is. Seems to be a lot of new people watching me, so I appreciate you if you're new watching me. I'm famous for this book, Ultimate Gastric Sleeve Success. You can find it on Amazon. Check it out there. Um, this book uh, has become the go-to book for weight loss surgery. You can check it out. And it doesn't matter. You don't have to have a sleeve. It's good for a bypass. It's good for any other surgery. It really only has one chapter that talks about the sleeve. The rest of the book talks a lot about um, the proper way to think. Oh, and the book I'm reading from now. If you co combine these two books together, hold on. Sorry, guys. If you combine these two books together, they're very powerful. Amen. If you've read both of these books and you think what I'm saying is the truth, that together they're very powerful, give me an amen. Because that's really true, right? You, um, and you can just download this book. It's at the top of this post, so you don't even need to buy it. You can just download and get a free PDF, okay? Um, Stacy just found me checking it out. Thank you, Stacy. Stacy, uh, that's Stacy Trahan, Trethan. 
Stacy Kefhart's one of my patients. Love Ultimate Gastric Sleep Success. Thank you very much, Lara. Welcome in. Books have been great. Brandy Lynn, hey doc, how do you, we get added to your secret group. You have to be one of my patients, please. Uh, Kimberly, Joe, Newell, how do you, do you add protein to your green smoothies? You can, you don't have to. I use uh, soy milk. Uh, oh, here's a good one. Jen, Jennifer Pendula Tierman, I had the duodenal switch. What do you, what you say in general still applies? Absolutely. What I say applies to every weight loss surgery. So for those of you who are new to me, what I say applies to every weight loss surgery. You're still a human. I still love you. You're still beautiful. You're still a creature of God. You're still powerful. You're still bigger than obesity. Um, you were not meant to live a small life. You're meant to eat nutritious foods. And I know you're asking me because you want to know specifically with the malabsorption that happens to the duodenal switch. And I have videos on that. You can eat a little bit more with a duodenal switch, but I will tell you, your goal in life is to overcome your obesity by becoming a badass. <laughs> okay? So I want you to become a badass, all right? Trust me. Please don't ask me any personal eating questions if you just had weight loss surgery. You need to follow the guidelines of your program. And I'm sorry that your program sucks and your surgeon is, um, doesn't do enough videos and all that sort of stuff. Feel free to ask Oops, feel free to keep watching me and following me, but just know I'm not being rude. I just can't give you medical advice on Facebook, please. So don't be hating. It's all right. I give you as much as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, Vera Cook, uh, Ultimate Gastric Sleeve Success is still her go-to book. That's awesome to know. Danielle Loft, just try to keep your questions shorter, please, because I can't read it. It goes by too fast. I'm so glad my surgeon suggested that I look into you. That's awesome. I'm strict vegan, thought it was going to be impossible after weight loss surgery. Uh, good. Uh, Danielle Loftus, uh, check out my friend, if you don't follow him already, Dr. Garth Davis, D-A-V-I-S. He's a weight loss surgeon like me. Um, he's a much better surgeon than me. And he's very handsome. He's much more handsome than me too. And uh, very smart. And um, he's a vegan and he teaches his patients um, vegan diets. All right, um, Cynthia Mason, what if you're hypoglycemic with only three meals? You won't get hypoglycemic if you eat the way I tell you. If you're eating three meals and getting hypoglycemic, it's uh, because you are not eat, probably not eating the right stuff. Now by that, I mean you might be eating what your program tells you to eat, like peanut butter, that's not gonna work. Like yogurt, that's not gonna work. You need a wide range of nutritious foods. Look into it and I bet you you're, um, uh, hypoglycemia goes away. How do I know? Because I got a thousand patients who eat the way I tell them they do good. All right. I have a long question I need to answer here. Summer Dixon, what is your position on frame size? Suppose they have a large frame based on somewhat internet 5.6. They say 140, 159. What say you? I say um, my patients who are five foot six, I like for them to be around 135 to 140 with muscle. Now you have to understand what I just said there, 135 to 140 with muscle. All right. Uh, Kathy Holloway, amen, great books I keep reading. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, Lo, Lo Lee, your 365 books uh, is awesome too. Thank you, Lo. So uh, I have another book called 365 Tips. That's a tip a day. I use it for journaling. Let me pull it, it actually happens. I see it in my bookshelf. Hold on just a second. I cleaned my house yesterday. So some of my books are here. So my, oh, my ultimate gastric sleeve success is in Spanish. So you can check that out. But here's the book that uh, Lo Lee was talking about here. It, I, I'm not here. I don't mean to be pushing my books, but people are just asking. 366 tips. It's a big ass book. It, see, it covers my head. How do you know something's big? How do you know it's a big ass salad? It's bigger than Dr. V's head. So this is a big ass book. And it's about the size of a phone book for those of you who are old enough to remember phone books. But basically it's a tip a day. And you can, so March 27th has a quote has a small passage for you to read and then it has a place for you to journal so i actually use this as my daily journal i need to get back to it but you can see i i use it as a gratitude journal it's also on amazon you can check it out it's big ass it's heavy too man you can you if you don't like it you can use it to hit your husband over the head it works out <laughs> no we don't like violence but it works well let me refresh my page real quick guys so i can make sure i have the latest questions these comments are strolling through really quickly how how did you like uh wisdom wednesday i have to get used to the name wisdom wednesdays did you enjoy it was it good for you did it work did you learn some stuff was it nice what do you guys think 
any exercise suggestions on solid weight loss? Good lord, exercise is not is not good for weight loss surgery. Exercise is not good for losing weight, so exercise therefore will not break a weight loss stall. Okay, you have to change what you eat and be patient. Tra Christy Tracy loved it, enjoyed it. Amy, thank you. I will I will um, edit it down so you can just get the nugget. I think the nugget video was probably about 15 minutes. I hope that's a good amount for you. Lisa Irwin, thumbs up. Everyone enjoyed it. Thank you. Uh, thought you were going to do your coffee video. I will, Tiffany. Um, uh, I finished that in group today. So I never publish my videos until after I've done both groups because I, um, I don't want my patients to see what I'm going to talk about. So I'll do that. I'll edit it down here when I go to dinner. Uh, Godney, thanks for your response. You're welcome. Uh, Wisdom Wednesdays was great. Awesome. Nice videos. Awesome. Thank you. I've read the book. However, there's nothing that compares to getting additional tips direct from you. Thank you, Melanie. That's the whole point of uh, Wisdom Wednesdays. I, I know people are buying the book. I know people are getting the free version. And I think sometimes people read through this book. Sorry if you're just joining in. We're talking about this book. Some people read through this book and they think like it's not worth anything. It's thin. It's small. It's not worth the price. But I promise you it has a ton of nuggets. In fact, if you have a support group, a lot of people base their support group on my two books, uh, two of my books. So you can read this book and go through it with your support group. It's great. And you can also go through this book um, with your support group. That's basically what I do too, all right? Um, someone asked me about the weight regain. Watch the weight regain course. What do you suggest next? Thank you, Amy. Um, if you haven't seen my weight regain course, um, it's awesome. I, it's 26 videos, professionally shot, spent a lot of money producing it. I hope you'll check it out. It's good if you're pre-op, it's good if you're two years out, five years out, it's good if you just had surgery because all of y'all will get, all of y'all at some point will have some weight regain. I promise you, I bet every single one of y'all watching a dollar, at some point you'll regain a little bit of weight, some weight. How much you will regain will be up to you, but it, um, you guys will all regain some weight. So Amy, to answer your question, what to do next, I think you need to come to my live weekend workshop if you can, or to our Las Vegas conference. The live weekend workshop, thank you guys for all the hearts. The live weekend workshop and uh, everything. Um, the live weekend workshop is March 23rd through the 25th here in Albuquerque. The Vegas conference is June 22nd through the 24th. I haven't gotten the sign up for the Vegas conference yet, but I've done the sign up for the March conference. So check that out. Um, all right. Heather Dickinson loves me. Thank you, Heather. Love you too. Um, Tanya wants to know about Vegas. Yes, we, I'm having a Vegas patient conference for about 500 patients, June 22nd through the 24th at Caesars. It's high end, it's motivational. Think Tony Robbins for the obese person. So it's not gonna be like other weight loss surgery conferences. There's not gonna be a plastic surgery talk. There's not gonna be some chef talking. It's gonna be all high motivation, high energy with inspirational speakers. People have changed their lives around. It's gonna be really, really good. All right, and, and it'll be at Caesars, so it'll be nice high-end stuff, okay? Cool, a lot of people are interested in Vegas. Uh, June 22nd through 24th, the early bird general admission price is gonna Regular price general admission will be $500. Early bird will be $250. Don't miss out on that. I have VIP pricing at $1,200, and regular pri and early bird VIP will be $699. So check that out, okay? So yes, there will be food in Vegas. That uh, price will be included. Food will be included. Um, uh, Summer Dixon, continue to do weekend wisdom Wednesdays. Thank you. Good. I'm glad y'all like it. Please share. Wisdom Wednesdays with me. Please share this broadcast in your groups for me. I appreciate it. I decided to do this at the spur of the moment yesterday uh, because um, it's the new year. And I think a lot of people, sorry guys, I think a lot of people don't utilize the power that's in my little booklet. And it's a booklet, I give you that. It's small, it's 20, you know, it's only, it goes all the way down to Z, Zen, it's only 60 pages short reading but it contains a lot of wisdom so i wanted to give y'all something 
that other surgeons and other programs aren't giving you, which is the real nuggets, the real wisdom to really be successful with your weight loss surgery. You might like it, you might not like it. You might want me to tell you what to eat. I'm not gonna tell you what to eat. You might wanna give me a food count. You might want me to plan out your meals for you. I'm not gonna do that. Reason why is number one, even if I did that, you probably wouldn't follow it. You'd probably give me a reason why you couldn't do it. I'm allergic to fish, I'm allergic to soy. I can't get that where I live. I've never seen that vegetable. I don't know how to cook it. People give me all sorts of reasons and excuses. I'm not making fun of you, but I'm just telling you the truth of the world as I see it, okay? So what I realize is it's better, and I don't need to tell you what to you know, eat, like meal per meal. I need to teach you to think. Once you start thinking and exploring and learning, then your obesity surgery is nothing. Your journey is nothing. Your weight loss is easy. We make it hard because we try to like spoon feed you what to do instead of teaching you how to do it on your own, like how to think on your own. I don't want you to do it on your own. I'm here to support you, but I need you to think on your own. Does that make sense? Thank you guys for the thumbs up. So problem is a lot of other programs just give you a very small notebook with a few little things to do, very little follow up, and you run out of steam. That's basically it. A year out, six months out, nine months out, you run out of steam, your old habits come back, you forgot where you started from, you don't have the wisdom to write down where you started, how bad your knees used to hurt, how much you used to give yourself, you hated giving yourself insulin injections, how you couldn't play with your kids, how you didn't like having sex with your husband, how you didn't like pool parties, how you hated, you feared the thought of a picnic, you feared the thought of um, amusement, going to a roller coaster and all that sort of stuff, right? So these are just truths. I want to give y'all so what other surgeons can't I think the day will come hopefully very soon and I want this to happen right I'm scooting over so you can see my fire I want this to happen I want other surgeons to do videos on Facebook I want other surgeons to start contacting their patients on social media I want other surgeons to put out content because there's too many of y'all for me to help. Now, I want to help every single one of y'all. I want to help the two billion people on this planet who struggle with obesity, but I know I can't do it alone. So, while these other surgeons are giving you the basic stuff, eat this, don't eat that, this is how you cook salmon, this is how you cook asparagus, that's all fine. You can find all that shit on the Food Network, right? But they're not going to tell you stuff that's inside this book. They're not going to tell you to look at your life with a glass half full instead of half empty to give yourself credit for where you come from how far you've made it in this journey that you're much more than a number on the scale that you can overcome any plateau that the reason why you're even plateaued is because your focus is wrong you're plateaued is because your dreams aren't big enough your surgery is too big in your life you haven't made it second nature yet see health and fitness for me is second nature you know it has to be because if your body gave out if you died where would you be that's right six feet under you'd be nowhere you'd be dead you'd be done for right and we make up all sorts of reasons to be unhappy and to be miserable and you don't need to be my point is you don't need to be your attitude affects that just be awesome just start doing small things that will make you awesome Many, M-A-N-Y, many, M-I-N-I, small victories. That's how you lose massive amounts of weight. Many, many small victories. Start doing some small victories. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not bragging, but I like this broadcast. I thought I did pretty good. So if you, thought, if you liked watching this video, for the hundred of you that's still watching, and you found value in it, you had a mini victory. A small victory because you watched me you learned a little bit more you moved the bar you pushed that bar that ball up the hill you rolled it down the street you moved move you made progress does that make sense people go to the gym for hours do the same freaking exercise and they never make any progress and they fool themselves into thinking they're making progress because they went to the gym but just because you went to the gym doesn't mean you did the right exercises the right way. Just because you had weight loss surgery doesn't mean you're doing everything right. You might be genuinely wanting to do everything right, but if you don't get the right information, 
you don't get the right platform, you don't get around the right people, you'll still struggle. So, congratulations to you. Welcome to Wisdom Wednesdays. I'll see you next Wednesday. I'm pretty much in town every Wednesday, so this should be a good time for me. 6 p.m., I hope this is good for you. Leave me some feedback. Share the broadcast. Help me out. Help out a brother. Spread the word. It's New Year's next Wednesday. We had 100 people on this video. Next Wednesday, I'd love to see 200, 250, 300 people. I'd love for you to share this broadcast with your friends and loved ones. Next week, we're going to read from the letter B, which is a powerful letter, which is B better. My favorite letter in this entire book is the letter F, but B is B better, right? And I'll show you what that, why it's powerful.